What up boys and welcome back to the uh we should probably say the monthly lockbox opening right now. So I'm opening up uh, Black Market Auctionhouse Containers Emerald Encrusted Chest, the Flame Scarred uh boxes from pickpocketing for dice, and of course the battered junk boxes and also lock boxes. Why? Some say that I'm addicted to gambling and RNG in general, and that is extremely well precise description of me i just uh there's something about the rng like clicking it is like just playing the slot machine dude like gets me excited and luckily there's at least a couple of you guys that enjoy these lock boxes video if you're one of them it would help me out a great deal if you press the thumbs up button on this video it really helps out me as a content creator and you can also check out the zero to 10 million gold guide which you can get for 50 percent off using code shadowlands so if you want to read more about it and how I make all my gold caps, you can find it linked down below in the description or in the pinned comments. So we're doing like we always do. I open up my loot appraiser, we open up lock boxes, and of course I'm on my twink. So if I get something that scales to the twink level, we could be making a lot of gold. But here we go. The only thing that kind of sucks about this particular opening, it doesn't have to suck, but like... Uh, there's a lot of high boxes in this one. There's a lot of boxes uh, that contains... Well, that's from, like, Kata and Wrath of Lich King. Like, Alabaster used to be such a good transmitter, and now it's 25 gold. So I'm going to mark it as trash, because I frequently do, like, resets, where I uh, just reset my uh, my settings on scrap, and i got to mark the items all over again. Like, this Dreadmole piece, it's... Uh, it's one of the items that I know for sure is uh, fake value. But cata boxes are good for one thing, usually, and that is the amount of raw gold that's inside of the box. And then there can be like a box inside of a box inside of a box. Okay, now I think I've marked enough items to uh, just keep on opening. However, there is. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the sword? That's the shit sword. That I have, uh, for some reason, sold for a ton of gold. There's some of these items, even some of the items that are fake value, that's actually worth... Well, they're not worth. They're worth as much as someone's willing to pay. But uh, in the past, I've sold it for a lot of gold. Specifically, uh, Wrath of the... Uh, not Wrath of the Lich King, uh, Warlords of Draenor mocks. When I'm What I mean by fake value is that you usually have an item that shares the appearance with like multiple quest items and sometimes even other green items but they're kind of cool looking unique in a way uh, and they sell for a lot of gold because people they don't do any research it's strange like why wouldn't you do research before you spend like a hundred thousand gold on a green transmit item i don't know man but people don't then i'm happy about that Let's see. But we also have some Torian boxes, some old lock boxes. It's a great mix of uh, different expansions in this particular opening. But so far, that sword, which is a tough sale, but knowing that I've sold it in the past for like close to 100,000 gold, I think it was like 79 or something like that. That's a blue item. Where did that one go? Was that the. Ah, these are bad. Okay, now we should go and vendor. Some items. Can't be hard to vendor all of them right now. But if you guys don't know what add on this is, it's called Scrap. It allows you to mark all the items that you want to get rid of. And it, like the add on will remember which items you've marked. So you only got to mark them once and then they will be automatically vendored as soon as you uh, open up a vendor. The reason why, way that's fake value. That's what I'm talking about. That's super fake value. That one right there. 655,000 gold according to Ludapraiser. It happens when you have items that like nobody posts and then yeah, like race ruin staff. Why is that so expensive? Like this one, I bet that if I search this one up, it's gonna share the appearance with a lot of items, but that's a pro tip. Just search up these items with an insanely high market value. If you're in doubt, search them up if it's from uh like TBC and above. Search them up on Wowhead and take a look at um, if they share the appearance with like 16 other items. You know it's definitely fake value. 
There's too many people posting too many shitty items because uh, T7 Ludopracer puts them at a super high market value. So let's see. Oh, you guys can't see Ludopracer. Was that a... That was a blue, but it was a shitty blue. That was also a blue, but a shitty one. Never lucky. No. Last box. So if I go on Wowhead and I search up this uh, item that we got, which was... What is it called? It's called the uh, Racer Wind Staff. Racer Wind Staff. A quick search on Wowhead. Let's see. Will tell me that it only has this. It shares the appearance with one item only, actually. So that is actually relatively interesting. It shares uh, the same model as the officer's formal batoon, right? So that's not that bad. This is a BO, uh, BOP item. So it's probably from a quest, this one. So it means that I'm actually going to post this because people are lazy, uh, way lazier than you'd think. So that definitely goes up on the auction house. And hopefully you guys learned something in this video and found it somewhat interesting. But that was it for now. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide, which is linked in the description and comment section. And I will see you all already back in tomorrow for yet another video. But until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.